All right, so I've got the maple all ready to go. However, I ended up having to use the extension for this one, which wasn't a part of the initial plan. When I was roughing it out with a chainsaw, I guess I had got something wrong and made it a tad too large, larger than what I wanted. So what I want to do is just get this piece rounded out and get the bottom cleaned up so that way I can slide it back on the bed of the lathe and put it between centers. So let's do that because this piece looks like it has some gorgeous grain throughout so I'm excited to see that. But let's get the lathe on and get this piece rounded out. All right, so everything is rounded out and that went better than I expected, which I didn't think anything would really go wrong, but I, with the tailstock not being up against the back of it, I was a little nervous, but we got through it. Uh, the only issues that did come up as far as the wood goes is there's a void here and then there is a crack on the other side that I believe is part of the pith. However, I'm not too concerned about these. It seems like the pith actually lines up right here on the bottom and then the void doesn't look like it runs too deep like you know so I'm hoping I can actually turn these away and I think I can if not though we will uh, we'll make it work somehow and uh, as far as the uh, design of this piece goes I honestly don't have anything in mind I just kind of blindly went into this just wanted to turn this wood that I had so we will see and uh, not to sound cheesy or sappy but it's like I guess I'll just let the wood dictate what shape it wants and we will go from there. So let's get the lathe back on and get the outside finished so I can turn this thing around.
Alright, well the Maple Bowl is done and like I say at the, every, or at the end of every video, this piece is beautiful and I am very happy with how this turned out. Um, I was anticipating pretty wood but not this pretty. I mean it's got burl figure, it's got curl, it's got color, it's got spalting. I mean it's really got everything and I'm excited because I actually have three of these logs that this wood came from. Now granted I don't want to turn all those. I actually would like to use my chainsaw mill that I purchased and try to saw one of those just to see. Uh, and if you'd like to see that, you can check it out up here. Uh, can't believe I actually just did that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I would like to, I want to turn one of them or maybe two of them, uh, but then saw up another one. It's just more or less the limits of my chainsaw for that. As far as the process goes, this bowl went pretty smooth. The only thing I had to do was I actually had to fill uh, two holes with some epoxy and I just used black epoxy. And then for the edge, I end up, or parts of the edge, I end up having to sand some of it down because it just, there was too much tear out from where how soft it was. It was punky and I didn't want to take a chance of it breaking later on. So I ended up just sanding it down and trying to blend it in with how, you know, the natural edge was, I guess is the best way to put it. But I fixed that up and other than those two things, everything went smooth and perfect and I couldn't ask for a better turn. <laughs> But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. I would love to hear some feedback as always, and I uh, hope to catch y'all next time.